Oh, this seemed like a good idea at the time. This is killing me. Number 76, the oxidizing agent for alcohols. Uh, is acidified potassium dichromate, and it turns from chromium-6 ions to chromium-3 ions. And the color change is orange to green. You have, if it's a change you need to give before and after, just think about it like traffic lights, except for the red one, of course. Orange to green. 77. SM1 is a two-step process for tertiary halo alkanes. One, two, three. That's how I remember it. If you have a random error, your data is going to be too high or too low. And that's going to be a kind of an even split between too high and too low. Do more experiments. Systematic error, your data is always going to be too high or it's always going to be too low. You need to fix your equipment or change your equipment to fix this systematic error. 10 times 10 is 100, isn't it? No, it's not. Not in IB, it isn't. Three sig figs, three sig figs, multiply, gives you three sig figs, 100 point. 81, there's my nice graph, join it with straight lines, and that's wrong. You have to use curved lines. Straight lines, no, has to be curved 95% of the time. Okay, how many carbon atoms in one mole of ethanol? Well, a mole of anything is 6 times 10 to the 23, or whatever you have, molecules in this case. There's two carbon atoms, so you need to double it. The number has to be big. Don't go for the small number in the answer. It has to be a big number. Here's electrolysis, lead bromide. What do I see at the positive electrode? You don't see bromine. You see a brown gas, bubbles of brown gas. Don't say you see bromine. You don't get a point. So what about the other electrode? What do you see at the negative electrode? You don't see solid lead. You just see a kind of a liquid, shiny metal. Why is it liquid? Because it's hot, it's electrolysis. How does, a mass spectro how does a mass spectrometer produce positive ions by shooting something with negative electrons? How do you make something positive by shooting it with negatives? Ah, the electrons knock off other electrons. 86. An ideal gas, the volume of an ideal gas is always zero, isn't it? No, it's not, that's utter rubbish. The volume of each individual gas particle in an ideal gas is zero. Okay, the carbon ion, the carbon atom, and the carbide ion. Ide means it's negative. So I put in the electronic configurations. That's the smallest to the biggest. The carbide ion is the biggest because of the extra electrons cause repulsion in the electron cloud. VSEPR theory, try and draw it in 3D. So what's forcing the kind of legs down on these shapes? The lone pairs are extra repulsive. And there, there's two lone pairs, which is extra, extra repulsive. Forces the kind of legs and the pyramid together. The IB love this question. And that's non-polar and polar. That's a hydrogen bond there, isn't it? On the hydrogen? Nope. Guaranteed this will come up. They love this one too. The hydrogen bond is an intermolecular bond, and it's the one I've just indicated in purple. The other one was a covalent bond. This graph came up recently. It's a cooling curve. Now, if you have to extend it, it's going to cool down to room temperature. Some people try and think it cools down to absolute zero. That's madness. And if you extrapolate it, is that the final temperature? No, absolutely not. You have to look at the start time to extrapolate the final temperature. You know, if, if you waited 10 minutes before you started, the final temperature would be the temperature of the sun. Sometimes they've asked, uh, in the past, draw your own Hess cycle. If they can't think of a question, they ask you to make one up. And this is the one I suggest. It's really quick. The bottom equation is hard to do in chemistry, but you can work out the energy change using the top two. That's methane, isn't it? Nope, you've just lost one point. If you don't draw hydrogens, you lose the point. That's very important. Three strong acids mentioned in the syllabus, hydrochloric, nitric, and sulfuric. This question, again, comes up every two or three years. Everyone thinks there's three, one fluorobutane, two fluorobutane, one fluoro, two methylpropane. Everyone forgets the last one. Two fluoro, two methylpropane. 96, the end is near. I've been making this mistake for 20 years as well. I only realized this recently. Copper is a two plus iron, but the oxidation number is plus two. 
Occasionally, they've taken a point off for that. Two plus and plus two. Oxygen's negative two in a compound. No, it isn't, because that's not a compound. All elements are zero, and that's an element. That's a Lewis structure, isn't it? No, it's not. Without the uh, valence electrons around it, you have to put that in, otherwise it isn't a Lewis structure. Boltzmann distribution. I've colored in the ones that will react at low temperature. No, absolutely not. Those are the ones that have enough energy. They might not react because they might not collide, and they might not collide in the correct geometry. 100, you've got to use the IB periodic table. Carbon isn't 12, it's 12.01. And 101, this is the bonus. For this classic rate of reaction here, you've got scales and you've got a little piece of cotton to stop it splashing out. The gas is escaping. Don't say the mass goes down to zero. It's not true because the glass and the products have some weight. Okay, good luck.